I'm Fiona from Twinkle. Today we're going to look at some resources and ideas for how to talk about comparing sets with children using language such as more, fewer and the same. This is a great first step to getting children to compare different sets of numbers so that they can then move on to learning about one more and one less and beginning to add and subtract. So let's take a look at our first resource which is the grab mats. Children should grab a small pile of objects, such as small toys, building bricks or counters, and place them in one hand. Grab another pile and place them in the other hand. Can you say which one has the most objects? Can you say which one has the least objects? Children can then sort the objects by colour. Do they have more red objects? Do they have fewer yellow? With this toy shop activity, there are lots of opportunities to discuss and compare groups of objects. Are there more pink teddies? Are there fewer dolls than robots? Count the spots on the dominoes. Which one has more? Children can play with real dominoes as a follow-up activity. They can continue to compare the number of dots on the dominoes, or they can match the dominoes that have the same number. These colourful comparing sets cards are the perfect way to discuss comparing sets of objects with children. Ask questions such as, are there more oranges or more pears? Why not use real fruit and snacks to carry on the conversation? Ask children, who has more? What happens if I eat one? Does that change your answer? With this clip card activity, children can choose the group which has more by placing a peg on the correct side. You could ask small groups of children or a child and an adult to draw the same type of picture. It could be a farm. Then compare the objects that you've drawn. Who has drawn more cows? Who has drawn fewer pigs? Have you drawn the same amount of clouds in the sky? I hope that that gave you some ideas and inspiration on how to talk about comparing groups of objects with children. See you next time.